welcome once again to Asking for Trouble, a show where you got to be careful what you wish for. Today on the show, we have two writers, two English professors, two directors of Shakespeare in the Park, Jennifer Howell and Peter Starr Northup. How's everybody doing today? I'm cool. Hi. You guys want to say a little bit about yourselves, Jen? Um, sure. I guess I'm 35 years old and I'm teaching at Dumbo University in Yongju, South Korea. It's pretty good here. And I really love books, but I think Peter's going to trounce me to the you just, you just got to have confidence, dude. I don't know anything about books. Uh, I have realistic expectations. Mm. Oh, and I'm, Peter Star. uh, and I'm Peter Star Northrup. Uh, um, I'm everything that Jen is, minus 10 years. Uh, what? I, I teach at uh, Chungdam Hagwon here at Busan, South Korea. I, I read books. I write books. I also direct and produce theater a lot. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of Shakespeare this year. We can talk about that later, though. All right, all and, you are, and you are broadcasting from the top of a building in the wind across the street from an elementary school, if I am correct. Yeah, and it's, and, and, and it's also recess, so um, there's a lot of, it's, it's kind of, it's perfect right now. All right, excellent. Uh, a little cold. Well, okay, I'm going to jump right into our first question today. Today's, topic, today's show is called Double Booked. We're going to talk about literature and books. Um, our first one, I have some uh, corrections to make from the previous show, but while I'm doing that, I'm going to give you your first question. Um, you both have paper and pen in front of you, right? Yeah. Yes. You have until I finish uh, my introduction, just take about a minute to uh, write down as many J J.D. Salinger stories as you can. Uh, and go. Stories or books? Stories. <laughs> All right. Oh, so shit. you guys got it? All right. Go ahead. While they're doing that, there's some corrections from the previous show. Uh, with Dean Tripp and Dave Roman, uh, there was a question about uh, an American werewolf in London, which uh, Dean got correct, and I oddly insisted that it was an American werewolf in Paris. I was wrong. He was right. You got the point anyway. Uh, and when I was talking to Dave Roman, we were talking about places that uh, the characters from Hey Arnold had appeared. He said it was Sesame Street. I said it was Pee Wee's uh, Playhouse. It turns out he was correct. It was Sesame Street, and although he may have also appeared on Huey's Playhouse, I have yet to find official confirmation of that. Uh, we're going to give these two a, a few more seconds. Let's say 20 more seconds. 19, 18, 17. All right, knock it off. Uh, crazy kids. Okay. Fine. All right, how many you got? How many you got? Did you say books or stories? I didn't even I hear story. that part. I said right, stories. Well, one, two, stories. Uh, does Seymour in introduction count as a story? That's an important pos That's an important thing. Yeah, that it appeared in the New Yorker. And raised high the roof beams, carpenters. Does that count as a story? Oh no. That's what I, I got. Like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, how many you got? I'm not going to argue with any of them. Unless, oh, and we just lost Peter. Uh-oh. He probably just logged off so he could write some answers real quick. He just, you, everything you just said, he's now writing down so he could pretend like he wrote it to begin with. I don't know. I, 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 he's a I cheater. Trust Peter. I Wait, trust was it me that time? I don't time? trust him. That was, it was I died you. that time? That was me dying? Oh, I thought everyone else was back about you, too. What? I was not. I was being so nice <laughs> about Peter while he was gone. <laughs> I was just feeling bad about the technical difficulties he was experiencing. Anyway, how many you got, Peter? <laughs> uh, does, did we just did we decide if Franny and Zoe counted as two separate stories? Oh, really? That counts as a story? Uh, because it's it's uh, it was it, they appeared separately in the New Yorker, dude. All right, you know, I believe those word. those do count as separate stories. I'm not going to disagree with anything unless the other of you dis you know more about them than I do. So, um, I why, not, why don't you each read your list? Okay, I got read your list, Peter. I got Uncle Wiggly in Connecticut, Franny, Zoe, Down by the Dinghy for Esme with Love and Squalor, A Perfect Day for Banana Fish, Catcher in the Rye, Raise High the Roof Beam, Carpenters, and Seymour in Introduction. Catcher in the Rye counts as a short story? I guess I didn't say not. short story. I said story. Oh, sorry. Just story All in right. general. He can win. He can win. He's better at Salinger anyway. I, I see. All right. All right. You're just as good okay. as Salinger. No, no, no. You Wait, how many Salinger. How many did you have? I have seven. But I didn't count oh. catching Fanny. I didn't catch Fanny and Zoe. I'm sorry, okay. don't worry about it. All right. So technically, we tied. 
you want to get if you want to get super technical, we just tied the. You the won. You won. You got it. All right. All right. So we're gonna move on. We're gonna jump into the first round. You're each gonna choose a category. Peter's gonna choose first. He's gonna get every uh, first dibs at every question in his category. Oh yeah. You, you each have two cheats. If you want to cheat, uh, you can check the web and ask or ask for help. Um, so just let me know if you don't know and you want to cheat. But your two categories to choose from, Mr. Star Northrup, are King's Shilling or Public Goods? King's Shilling or Public Goods? Yo, yes. yo, give me King's Shilling. King's Shilling. For a thousand. For a thousand. King's Shilling <laughs> is, that, is, of course... Is that how this works? Sure. King's Shilling is... <laughs> Stories that Stephen King has sold the rights to. It's books, This is Jen's man. category. I'm, I'm so right. screwed. Well, let's see what you can do. All right. First question is, how many Stephen King stories were adapted into theatrically released movies? Oh, never mind. <laughs> so many. The, Too is, many. Just, I don't want to, I don't want to, like, you... I'm, I'm going to give you... A, can I just guess? Jen, well, Jen what oh. do you think? Should we give him a plus or minus five... It's a big number, so it's a pretty. Because yeah, like he's I also done. Actually, know this one. Okay. I'm Do we, starting to write things down it. right now. Can we count all the terrible screenplays he's written too? Like the one about nope. the truck. Okay. This is individual stories that have been adapted into movies. So if if there's like a series of eight movies based on one story, it counts as one. If there's an anthology movie <laughs> with five of his stories, so it, let's say if you get it in the in the the right. Um, you know, it's two digits. If you get the first digit right, I'm gonna I'm gonna count it. Okay, I'm gonna call it twenty-three. Sorry. It's cool. Twenty-three? Yeah. I'm sorry it was no, I'm sorry that is incorrect. Ah. Uh, Jen, do you wanna steal? What what ha what is the rule for stealing here? You, like, do there's I no you just jump right in. You just no, no you jump right in. There's no penalty. Thirty five. It was thirty seven. Go point. I hate. <laughs> I think he's so great. All right, Peter Star Northrop. Next question: What was the first one, the first uh. Stephen King story adapted into a movie? Hmm. Carrie. That is correct. Yeah, it's also his first book, right? That was his. Mm. Was that his first book? Yeah, I think was it so. close to his first book. I think it was. Anyway. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, for the next set of questions, some stories' names were changed for the movie. I'm going to give you the the uh, the movie name. You give me the story it was based on. I first the Shawshank Redemption. I uh, I want to cheat. You want to cheat? All right. You want to? Uh, I want to use the internet. Check the web. All right. Let's see what you get to check. And let's see what we got here. Uh, I have some trouble. If you want to check the web, you don't get to uh, choose what website you, you go to. <laughs> this little randomizer is going to pick it for you. Okay. And you get to check. Oh, it's so terrifying. What is Yandex.ru? What is that? This is, Yandex, this is a Russian search engine. All right. Well, Yandex.ru. Let's, let's, do... let's see what you got. All right, I'm a. Let's do this. Let's see what the Russians say about it. Okay, so I gotta go. Oh, screen share, uh, fancy. Oh, look at me. So, what is it? Yandex.ru. Yeah. Yandex.ru. It's a Russian search engine. Uh. Whoosh. Oh, oh requests. God, no. Are you uh -huh. doing illegal things on the rooftop? No. I was downloading classy movies. Come on, come on, come on. I, uh, I assume I assume you're direct, uh, downloading them all direct from the uh, direct from the, school, yeah. The, no, yeah. I mean direct from the uh, studio with proper copyright clearances. And from the singing comedy, Ryan Hayworth in the Shawshank Redemption, Rita Hayworth in the Shawshank Redemption. Rita Damn. Hayworth in the Shawshank Redemption. That is correct. Thank you very much. Where do I go now? I'm lost. I lost the hangout. <laughs> wait, wait. Get me out of here. Okay. <laughs> okay, you're, you're take me out yeah. of here. There you go. All right. Next one is Stand By Me. What story was uh, it based on? Oh, I think somebody knows the answer. 
I, do, I know nothing. I Jen, steal it. One. I knew the last what? one. What? Wait, I, I got nothing. I literally, like, right. I couldn't, I didn't have the slightest idea. Are you going to guess or are you going to use your last cheat? Uh, I'm going to guess and I'm going to say uh, five guys on some train tracks. That is incorrect. It okay. looks like somebody wants a steal. Okay, I might be wrong about the exact wording. I think the dead body. That is incorrect. Ah! Uh, it's called the body. The, the, Wait, body? the body. The body. Oh well. All right, Peter Star Northrup. What was Secret Window based on? Secret Window. Johnny Depp was in it. Yeah, I know. I know. I read this story in high school, and it was terrible. Ah. Uh, it was something long and stupid, and I don't remember what it was. Stephen King does have some good stories and some very terrible stories. That, that is correct. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I haven't read this one, so I don't know if it's... I'm, I'm going to take your word for it. Oh, dude, I, I have no... I'm totally blank. It's in, it's in, uh, it's in Everything's Eventual. It's, it's in that collection, right? Okay. Jen? I don't... I'm... I'm yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So if she, if she doesn't know, this might be a good one to just uh, either guess or pass on, because you know I'm gonna I'm a pass. I don't wanna. Okay. Wait, is it is it it's like it's like the tall dark something or another? That is incorrect. <laughs> Jen, you wanna take a guess or or use a cheat on it? Ooh, ooh, use a cheat. Oh, I only have two cheats though, right? Yep. You get and... to check the web once and ask for help once. No. Yeah, it was it was secret window hidden garden. Okay, Hearts in Atlantis. Mm -hmm. Hearts in Atlantis was based on what story? It was Hearts from an anthology series. It was, the anthology oh, was called anthology Hearts in Atlantis. So which one but, is the one? Yeah, it was actually based on one of the stories. Which one of the stories was it? That's what I'm asking you, dude. It's a trivia show. Yeah, I'm, I'm just doing it. I'm just <laughs> saying it out loud to legitimize the... Yeah. I think you're so funny, Ryan Estrada. I think you're so great with your, your game shows and your smug attitude. Um, um, yo, I, 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 haven't read, like, I haven't read any of these stories since high school. I got nothing. I'm going to pass. I don't want to even, I don't want to waste a cheat on it. Jen? I'm also got, getting nothing. Um, yo, this is, how would you? Dude, because I like the novels more. I don't read the uh, stories as much. Sheesh. Sheesh. So if I fuck up on the novels, then you can, yeah. Mm, all right. Okay, so you want to take a guess, passing. or you want to pass? Okay, Low men in yellow coats. Yeah, I never would have had that in a thousand years. Okay. Next up, Silver Bullet. That's a that's a that's a movie. That's a movie. No way. Is it based on a novel or a short story? I believe it's a short story. Oh, oh. he writes too many short stories. He writes a I'm lot gonna... of short stories. Can. Mm -hmm. Do you know what? They get anthology? easier after this. So oh, okay. Just I, all right. Um, Silver Bullet. Silver Bullet's a movie. When was Silver Bullet even made? <laughs> an old one. It's an old one. Jen, have you seen this movie? No. Okay. Oh, do I know the end? Mmm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say it was based on the short story, uh, um, the long run or whatever that's called. <laughs> long walk. The long walk. What was it called? It's not even a short story. I don't care. I'm done. Okay, that is incorrect. You want to steal? Sorry, we're disappointing you, Ryan. I know. I, well, I, I put all the hardest ones up front just to be dick. So, right. understand. You're, you're just saying that to make us feel better. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe. I have never seen or read either of these two things, so you, you got to <laughs> guess. No. Nope. Okay, it was Sorry. Cycle of the Werewolf. Mm, heard of it, but you, didn't read it yet. Do you know what anthology that's from? I don't know. Hey. I just, look, I just, I just Wikipedia this stuff, all right? I ain't going <laughs> to write down everything. All right, final, final of these questions. We got Maximum Overdrive. Maximum Overdrive? Oh, shit. Oh, oh. I thought this was the next category. It's still a question. Maximum Overdrive. Jen, One do you word know title. This? One word title, Maximum Overdrive. One word title. So, like, no spaces between maximum and overdrive? No, the answer is one word. I was giving you the a The answer is one Oh. 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 No. No. That can't be it. It's like the one about the car, but that's, that's a more than one word title. Mm-hmm. 
Mm, Jen agrees. One word. About title. a vehicle. It is about a vehicle. Oh, there's the other. He writes. He writes so many stories about cars. What is his obsession with cars? Uh, he did get hit by one while writing a story, didn't he? No, but that was, well, that no, was he, a lot later. He wrote about yeah. cars before being hit by one. Ooh. Wait, didn't didn't he incorporate that into the Dark Tower though? I don't Never know. Never mind. Whatever. Uh, sh- no, I know there's the other ones. The old school one. I can oh, see the cover. Yeah. And I in the made, back. I think what? he made an actual movie of its own out of that one though. I don't know. Tell oh, uh, I I got nothing. You got nothing? Teeter pass. Uh, passing. I'm totally passing. All right. What the yeah. hell? I'll cheat. I'll cheat. I'll try this thing. I want to see this right. wheel. All right. You want to uh, ask for help or check the web? Um, I will check the web. I don't think I know anyone who's going to help. All right. Me. Let's see. Let's see what we're going to check. Google. Let's ha- let it be Google. But I'm not really going to Google it right now. I'm just trying to get it on Facebook. And you get to check AskJeeves.com. Is that still a thing? Okay. That is still exists. Ask Jeeves is still a thing. It's, that... still, it's not really a thing. I wouldn't say anyone uses it, hmm. but it still exists. Jeeves like, isn't people... on it anymore. They just kind of kept the URL because nobody remembers Ask.com. Hmm. Um, I don't really know what the site even does anymore. It's, it's weird. We'll see what we can do. I can't believe I was very upset when they killed Jeeves. It's very sad. That was like the only thing Ask Jeeves had going for it. Did we lose oh, her? Yeah, we, Did she use the dead. same window? Did she use the same window that she was <laughs> doing the... Probably. Probably. Wait, here she comes. Yep. Did I'm you, use the... no, no, Did no, you no. go to it in the same no. window? Nope. Oh. <laughs> you made fun of Jen and you killed it. You gotta be nice to Jen, or <clears throat> she won't stay. Mm-hmm. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. It's just mad that I exist and that I moved the mouse. Mm-hmm. I think. Oh well. All right. How dare you? It. We'll see. And oh, wait, no, we just see the logo. Trucks. It's called trucks. It's called Hello? trucks. That it's is called correct. trucks. That's called not trucks. a book. That's, That's not a book. book. It's called trucks. That's not. A book. <laughs> Believe it or not, it's called trucks. He just wrote a book called trucks. He's, yeah, just you know, he's just Stephen like King. his publisher is like, all right, what you got for him? He's like, oh crap, I didn't think of anything. Um, uh, trucks. trucks. Yeah, and publisher's like, good, done. Incidentally, right. that's also how the movie Cars came about. There you go. Just different. Yeah, it's a, it's, yeah, it's a spinoff. All right, next question: The Shawshank Redemption, Stand yes. by Me, Apt Pupil, and the upcoming The Breathing Method were all adapted from the same book. What is oh. the name of that book? I don't know the name of that book. Uh, wait, no, I know the name of that book. Something, something, something. <laughs> it became, it became three movies. It's going to become four soon. Jeez. I don't know why they're that. De- like, I've, I've always joked about it. I've said like um, about how every story from that book has been a movie except for the breathing method because mm. it's like incredibly know, wait, stupid. Nothing happens in it. It's just like a woman has a baby after her head falls off, and that's all that happens. And then I read, oh, they're adapting it to a movie. I just had I just had like the ultimate stupid person moment. Like I just was like different strokes. It isn't like different what? stories or something. It's not different strokes. Different <laughs> stories. Different stroke. Different stories. Different seasons. Different seasons. Oh! Different something. Oh, yes! we're gonna are we gonna give it to him? That's his third get. But I didn't. It wasn't I didn't a guess. It was just a guess. Different strokes though. He was. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we're gonna give it to him. I gave him some. Yeah. Oh snap. <clears throat> All right. What's this? Is that my first okay. point? It's yeah, yeah, like three, three points. Counter. Stuff too. Three to two. I... All right. Next up, which Stephen King book was re- released in individual chapters before the novel was even finished, with readers warned they'd better pick up each volume because they might never be collected or published anywhere again, only to eventually become a hit novel and movie? Uh, the one about vampires that I can't remember the name of. I think I know it. I got nothing. No, I'm passing. Nothing? Passing? Yep. Okay. The Green Mile? That is correct. What? And there are no vampires in the Green Mile at all. <laughs> this is John Coffey. It would be really interesting if there were. <laughs> he does suck things out of people, but it's not blood. It's evil. Yeah, yeah. I, spent the, I spent the week studying Russian this. literature because that's what you said I would be doing. I didn't say anything about Russian literature. You, you mentioned so, Russian poetry. 
I meant I don't remember ever mentioning Russian poetry. Okay, <laughs> there are no maybe... questions about Russian poetry. <laughs> oh, then I'm all. screwed. <laughs> <laughs> all right, next up. What adaptation of his work did Stephen King hate so much that he was allowed to write his own TV version 17 years later starring Stephen Weber, Rebecca De Mornay, and Melvin Van Peebles on the condition that he stopped bad-mouthing the original? You know, the, the hilarious part is you've been talking about this... You've said this four times to me in the time I've known you, and I still can't remember which one it is. I want to say The Stand, but I know that's not right. That is not right. Oh. You don't want to steal? No. Yes. Well, you yes, can't steal. Does. It's your question. <laughs> I can steal Go ahead. that for myself. The Shining. The Ooh. Shining. I knew that. The King hated The Shining. Foolish man. I didn't I like, like The Shining either. What? I'm not a fan. The movie? No. Um, Dumb. Don't. Everybody right. hates me now. Everybody's tuning out. We just Wait, lost. How many? How many viewers do we even have? Right now, four. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Next, when move when studios made movies of Stephen King's books, they often got the rights to expand the stories into sequels, even when there was no story to base them off of. Uh huh. The Mangler, a story of King's, which was adapted into a trilogy of films. Trilogy of films? It was there's a trilogy. The story was about a killer what? The Mangler. What trilogies are about folks who also mangle? Manglin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was a it was a film trilogy. It was based on a uh a Stephen King story. Called The Mangler. Yeah. Got you there. Uh how old are we talking? It was an old one. Let's say, let, I'm going to give you a hint that he was scraping the bottom of the barrel with ideas here. This was not top shelf Stephen King material. Not <laughs> top shelf. So uh, I'm going to go with a killer laundrist. It mangles wow, people. that's... That is so incredibly <laughs> close that I don't know if I should give that to you. Wait, what? Wait, you, you get it. <laughs> I'm going to give it to you because, what god dang, it? it was a laundry folding machine. <laughs> Wait, there's a wait, wait. Can we? There's a trilogy of films. <laughs> well, there's the Stephen King. We lost Jen, but while she's done, there was a that Stephen King. Was so bad, we, we killed Jen. Yeah, she was so there, upset. There was, in fact, a Stephen King short story about a laundry folding machine that kills people. They adapted it into a movie. Then someone made a sequel that had nothing to do with the original. It was about a computer virus, and then someone else rebooted it and made. A new sequel that was a follow-up to the original about someone buying the original laundry machine at a thrift store. You can just buy laundry machines it, at thrift stores. I don't know. It okay. was just. It was a weird. It's a weird freaking trilogy of films. Did it That's like? Did it like? Did it like get up and walk around and kill people, or did you have to like fall into it? You had to physically fall into it. So it's basically no different from a normal <laughs> laundry folding machine. If you fall into any laundry fo folding machine, it's gonna squish you. It's but just, this one's just been... like this. This one's like, well, you know, it was thinking about it while it did it. Maybe it like, oh, okay. Into it, it like it like maybe coaxes it, it pulls a thread from your shirt. Who knows? Yeah, it's... it coaxed you in. Yo, it's really nice of you, bro. I think you should. Right. I think you should feel what it's like to be square. All right, I got two more questions. I'll give you the easier one first. Mm -hmm. Which Stephen King adaptation starred Arnold Schwarzenegger? Really? Yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger's been in the Stephen King movie? He has. Really? He has. He has. How many people do we have in the audience right now? Five. Five? Do you think any of them would know this? I don't know. That, not even necessarily... I don't want to waste, waste it. I don't want to waste, waste it. I'm not wasting it. No, I'm not going to do it. It's not even necessarily that that's your, uh, your lifeline. There's a lot of different lifelines people you can ask. Oh, really? What? Yeah. How, how, how does the calling lifeline work? You can, well, I, that might not might or might not be one of them. You can All right, call okay, anyone you want. So, cool. Never mind then. Uh, I'm a I'm a pass. Call it a yeah, day. I'm, pass. I'm passing to you. I don't know this at all. Yeah. You just don't I'm know sure. it. Yeah, no. we got nothing. The Running Man. Oh, that's yeah. embarrassing. I have just shamed my family. I hope nobody's watching. Five people are. Duh. <laughs> I hope right. nobody I know is watching. Jenna, Jenna. Oh, she's so angry. This okay. is more her area of expertise. 
Okay, and the final Stephen King question. This is a, this is the ridiculous one. Okay. One Stephen King story was adapted into two movies. A James Wood starring American adaptation and a John Abraham starring Bollywood version. <laughs> two stories, if you can, two points if you can name the story or either adaptation. If you can name in any the, of the stories or movies involved in this question, I'll it, get two points. Wasn't it adapted into Bollywood at some point? It was not, that is incorrect. That would be amazing, though. Uh, I know, right? The it Bollywood, we should make that movie. Like, today. Jen, you got this? I'm wrong. James Woods. No, no, no. I don't have it. I don't have it. I'm... Jen, who's James Woods? I don't I, I was thinking about him, but I don't have it. It's going to haunt me. I'm passing also. If he's passing, I don't know. All right. The story was Quitters, Inc. It was adapted into Cat's Eye and No Smoking. Cat's no Smoking. Eye. Oh, man. I can't, I've been forgetting to use the bell when people get right answers. I'm sad. Oh, yeah, that would cool. make me feel a lot happier about my yeah. life. You need, a, you need a stage manager, Ryan. You need somebody there just to yeah. ring the bell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I friggin' bought this and imported it from Japan so I could bring <laughs> it in this episode, and I'm, I'm doing it. All right, next category for Jen is public goods. Okay. You ready? Public oh, goods. All right, public goods. This is movies that stole their plots from public domain sources. Mm. Reasonable. All right, first up. Rather than a villain named Claudius taking over Elisnor Castle, this movie involved a villain named Claude taking over the Elisnor Brewing Company and two Canadian sketch comedy characters taking over for Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. What Hamlet adaptation am I talking about? Holy shit. I have no idea, but I bet Peter does. I'm passing. I... I'm sorry. Oh, you, you. Haha. <laughs> the name of the movie you're saying? The name of the movie. It's the about the, the Ellis Nor Brewing Company and has two Canadian sketch comedy characters. Scotland for... PA. Scotland PA, that is incorrect. Which is an adaptation of Macbeth, actually, now that I think about yes. it. The yeah. answer was Strange Brew. Never Strange heard Brew? Of oh my god. Strange I Brew with Bob and Doug McKenzie? I saw that when I was like a little kid. Damn. I've never, I've never even heard of that. Please you know who Bob and Doug McKenzie are from SCTV? Yeah. Who? Anyway, I, I, I don't know things. About Ryan, but I don't, yeah, I was dumb. All right. I like how you said this is going to be about books, and it's secretly only about movies. <laughs> hey, I'm asking for trouble, man. <laughs> All right. Yeah, the, the, that's, that's the secret of the show. Yeah, it's, I make it sound like it's about one thing, but it's not. Cool. Because I'm a dick. <laughs> All right. What Roger Allers and Rob Minkoff story movie follows the story of Hamlet Beat by beat, even though a large portion of its marketing campaign focused on it being an original story. Oh, Roger God. Allers and Rob Minkoff directed. Yeah, these are not people. I've heard their names, but these are not people I follow their careers. So I'm not. I pass. I'm sorry. Um, I can give you a hint in that they are animation directors. Yeah, that really doesn't help me. Animation okay. is a category film and watch least. Okay. I'm really Peter Star Northrop. The Lion King. The Lion King. Yeah. Boom. The Lion King follows Hamlet. I hate the Lion King. Lion King hates you Lion back, King? son. I've seen the Lion King once. I hate that movie. You don't like The Shining, so you have no room to talk. Okay, I'm not complaining. I'm just. I I I used to cry every time I watched The Lion King. Yeah. How do you hate the Lion King? Oh, God. It, it would be an entire feminist diatribe you don't want to hear. All right, <laughs> move on. Then you're going to love the next few questions. <laughs> the Lion King 2, Simba's Pride, <laughs> ditches the Hamlet plot to follow the story of a different Shakespearean play. Which one? I'll just make a guess on this one, I suppose. Okay. A you know this one. You know this one. How would I know this one? Like, Tr you've seen The Lion King, Simba's Pride, obviously. Once. Okay. Henry V? I don't know. No, that is incorrect. Peter Star North. Taming of the Shrew. No, it's not Taming of the Shrew. Oh. It is Romeo and Juliet. What? Why did you think I knew that one? You didn't know it. <laughs> I was trying to make you feel confident. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, it's Romeo and Juliet is like the one Shakespeare play. Like, and anytime there's an animated adaptation of a of a uh, Shakespeare play, die? it's probably gonna be that. Are Wait, dead? probably. Yeah, 
I'll, oh, I'm thinking. Probably not. It's 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 Simba's daughter and Scar's son. Okay, yeah, they're not exactly. supposed to get together because. Oh, I thought it was Timmy yeah. the Shrew because I just remember Simba's daughter being like angry all the time. <laughs> no. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Okay, this one you don't have to know the Lion King movie. The Lion King one and a half, which shows the audience the original movie entirely through the eyes of Timon and Pumbaa, is inspired by what play that followed the plot of Hamlet through the equivalent characters? Rosencrantz and Gilderstein are dead. I hope so. Gilderstein? Yeah. Gilderstein? I'm give it to her. No! <laughs> Gilderstein! Gildenstern! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't yell. Don't yell, Peter Star Northrop. I'm sorry. I'm just be nice. Kilderstein. Kilderstein. <laughs> ah. Uh, How okay. dare you? What? Next question. Another. Sorry. Which Wait. one book was adapted into all of the following films? The Right to Be Happy. It's Never Too Late. Fellow Passengers. Skin Flint and La Leyenda de Navidad. Um, wait, wait, which book or which story? Which book? By whom? Leyenda de Navidad. The, the Christmas Let's just say, it, yes, Christmas. a Christmas Carol. It has been adapted into a lot of friggin' movies. Why didn't you say Bringing Out the Dead? <laughs> because it said Navidad. <laughs> he's asking, he's, he's talking to me. Um, right. anyway. Um... Speaking once again of A Christmas Carol, this, now, <laughs> I'll tell you why, Peter. Speaking once again of A Christmas Carol, despite oh. the fact that it features a troubled man being teamed up with three partners in three nights just prior to Christmas, who we, in order, talk to him about the past, present, and future, repeatedly including lines about seeing ghosts, and replaces Tiny Tim with a schizophrenic young man named Noel, Director Martin Scorsese insists what movie is actually based on an autobiography of former paramedic Joe Connolly. Am I assuming this is bringing out the dead, which Peter just said? <laughs> that is Son correct. Of a... Ah! I brought out my own downfall. Uh, yes, Peter gave you the answer. Mm. Yeah, I, uh, Peter's heard me talk about that. I'm glad you. Got, I was glad you got the category because I knew Peter knew the answer, and then Peter gave it to you. I hate you. Merci beaucoup. Yeah. The, yeah the, if anybody has seen Bringing Out the Dead is a Martin Scorsese movie uh, with Nicolas Cage that you could watch like five times and have no idea it's an adaptation of A Christmas Carol until someone tells you that and then you're like, holy crap, I can't unsee it. All right. Next up. Clueless was loosely based on which Jane Austen novel? Emma. That is correct. Boo. You better hope there's not any more Jane Austen questions. I'm done. I've, I've lost. It's like, it's like five to three now. There's no coming back from this. Yeah, there is. Next up. The Taming of the Shrew was adapted into what Heath Ledger movie? Ten Coke. Things I Hate About You. Ten Things I Hate About You. That is correct. Everything hurts and nothing is beautiful. <sighs> All right. In Twelfth Night, a young woman named Viola dresses like her own twin brother, Sebastian, in order to get a job. In what movie does Amanda Bynes play a young woman named Viola who dresses as her brother, Sebastian, in order to join a soccer team? Oh, my God. Oh, my... Ah! Oh, Amanda Bynes. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> no, I've heard the title of this movie, and I can't fucking think of it right now. You have seen this movie. I can't think of what it's called. You know, pass, pass, pass. Sorry, I'm not gonna think of it. I'm just gonna. You're starting Northrop. Uh, it's some stupid. Oh, recess is over. I'm gonna listen to the music. Can you hear that? <laughs> Did you hear that? That little. I heard uh, that. I heard that. Stalling, oh, stalling, it's still going. Stalling, it's like so go. What? Fever pitch. I don't know. Fever, Fever pitch. pitch? I'm Nick Hornby. <laughs> oh right, no. Ah, no. stupid person. No, okay. nobody's got it. It was. She's all that. She's all that was with Amanda Bynes. I she's thought that was all that. Oh, yeah. What? Oh, she's all. No, that. sorry. She's the man. She's the man. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wigging me out, man. Oh yeah. Um. <laughs> all right. So I just kind of looked at the next question. So um, yeah. I accidentally gave you the answer to the next question. Um. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Can you... I have seen that. 
All right, so I'm just going to have to skip that question. Head, Can you just man? ask it for, like, free points, no points question? Um, how about I'll just ask you the opposite. Okay, let's say uh. She's All That uh, was a 1999 movie uh, in which a misogynistic jock played by Freddie Prince Jr. is uh, sculpting the nerdy Rachel Lee Cook, into his, who is ideal woman on a bet. It was based on what myth about a misogynist sculptor who created a sculpture of his ideal woman and then fell in love with her? I know the play. The play is Pygmalion, but I don't know what the actual is. I don't know if the myth is actually called Pygmalion or not. It is. Nah. That's correct. Oh wait. Was that nine? Ten. Ten. Ah. All right. Next up. It took Shakespeare three plays to tell the story of Henry IV rebelling against his father, but mm -hmm. Gus Van Zant, River Phoenix, and Keanu Reeves got it done in one via what 1991 movie? Drugstore Cowboy? Incorrect. It? Oh, shit. Wrong. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Peter Stark, Uh, Joaquin Phoenix, Keanu Reeves, and who now? River Phoenix, Re Keanu Reeves, and director Gus Van Zant. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, who's River Phoenix? What? I'm don't kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. That. Okay, okay, I'm kidding. Uh, uh, um, don't, don't forget you have uh, one cheat left, and there's only, like, uh, f four questions left that it'll be useful for. Um, uh, can I... I don't even know. I would call, if I had this question, I would call Jen. Can I call Jen? No, 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 That's see, because I already true. messed up, and I can't think mm. of the name of the real movie. Yeah, I can't think of it either, so I'm, I'm just going to pass. Good. Uh, all right. The, you could, there's a lot of people you can ask. It's not necessarily a phone call. Oh, wait. So, wait. The, the, what are my the, wheel, the wheel's going to choose, man. The wheel's okay, going to choose. Okay, fine. Yeah? Let's do it. Let's, let's just do a wheel. All right. Wheel Let's it. just do the wheel. Let's just do the wheel. Let's uh, ask for help. Call your mom. That would be exciting. That'd be Tara. Let's see what we're going to get here. <laughs> Please tell me. Hint from Ryan. YouTube comments. Instant message. YouTube comments. Instant message. To whom? To whoever you want, man. Uh, Mary Rose knows things. She's very smart. You can go on That's Facebook. True. You can go on whatever you want, man. Uh, okay, yeah, okay. Ryan Hildebrand, are you awake? I need you right now. And if anybody watching wants to send a tweet, what the heck, I'll read that to him, <clears> too. <throat> tweet at Ryan Estrada, and I'll read the, uh, the tweet to Peter. If anyone knows the answer to this question, which is, it took Shakespeare three plays to tell the story of Henry IV rebelling against his father, but Gus Van Zant, River Phoenix, and Keanu Reeves got it done in one via what 1991 movie? I'm Tweet so at sure. Ryan Estrada if you know the answer. Who is awake? Wait. He has a very maniacal look on his face right now. Maniacal? This is maniacal? A little bit maniacal. Oh, I got someone. Hold up, I'm gonna go. I'm a screen share. Okay. I found somebody who's online. All right, ask them the question. They can Google if they want. You know. Let's... Okay. Oh no, I got it. Where am I? Where am I? Here. All right. I'm Facebook. On Facebook, show full screen. My own private Idaho. How? Oh, My own God. private Idaho. That is correct. Yeah. Who, what? Give a shout out. Who just gave you the answer? Jenna Hogue or Apollonia or whoever you want to. Jenna. 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 Hey, Jenna. Good job. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. I'm not losing. Is it like. Bonjour. Hello. 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 Goodbye. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Five to ten. All right. All right. Next up. What movie what? replaces Odysseus with Ulysses Everett McGill and Polyphemus the Cyclops with an eye patch wearing John Goodman? Hate you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You Why am I losing the title? No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Don't remember. You can't remember. Don't, don't even try. Don't even try. You can't remember. Just pass it. Just pass it. Psyching you out. I'm psyching you out. You are psyching me out. My mind. Oh, I'm psyching play. you. I'm so psyching you out right now. This is me psyching you out. Do you hear the children screaming? How much time do I actually have before it becomes unreal? Uh, just, I could you uh, out. Not very long. So I could you what out. Just saying, Jenna was the one telling me I need to put a I'm time on no, no, no. so. I'm doing my other cheat. I'm doing my other cheat. No. Okay. no, no. This All is right. So fucking easy. Let's see who you get to ask. <clears throat> I hope it's Lee because he just said he knew. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, brother, where art thou? Ah! That is correct. Oh, brother, where art thou? My mind just went blank for a minute. He just, he just, he, he. Because mm. Peter's messing with you. Yeah. No, because my mind was messing with me. Okay. It's also me. I was, I was assisting your mind. Ah, okay. I picked the wrong category. <laughs> Next question. In Easy A, Emma Stone is shunned by her peers for her supposed sexuality. It is an adaptation of what novel? Uh, sort of I... The Scarlet Letter, maybe? Definitely it's The Scarlet, Scarlet Letter? letter. How is it sort of The Scarlet She has an A on her chest. Uh... Well, it's a, uh, a movie starring Emma Stone and Cupman. Which Cupman what? is a is a character that uh, that Peter played at one point. I wasn't Subway a character. Mascot. I was an actual, honest to god superhero. Thank you very much. Sure. All right. Anyway, that's an in joke that nobody in the audience is going to understand. <laughs> All right. And final question. It's no secret that West Side Story is based on Romeo and Juliet, but what mm. family do the Jets represent? What family? Do the Capulets? Maybe. That is incorrect. I know the name. <laughs> Give me my point. It's the Montagues. <laughs> that is correct. That was that's uh, the easiest steal. I have, I've never right. I've never even seen West Side Story. Well, if you didn't know the family's names, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then you'd suck, but that's all right. All right. That was round one. At the end of round one, we have Peter Star North with six points. Jennifer with twelve. Yeah. Uh, oh, wow, that now, was just one round. Whoa. Yeah. Well, how many rounds are there? The, there's only one more round. Oh, this okay. is going to be a this is going to be a speed round. I'm going to ask you both each question, mm -hmm. and there's going to be a series of uh, of hints. Mm -hmm. And the yeah, if you know the answer, you just jump right in. Let's say uh, to even it up. Let's say whoever gets each one is going to get three points. Oh God! Let's hope that the thing doesn't log out on me though. So oh, that'd be terrible. Just jump in at any point you have an answer. All okay. right. First question. This category, the category for these, there are seven of them, is follow-ups. Uh, all right. There are a lot of complaints about popular, popular literature focusing more on branding than on telling a good story, but that's certainly right. not a new phenomenon. Mm -hmm. For example, in 1843, one author wrote a book in just six weeks that was so successful he spent the next 25 years releasing a new book on the same theme every year. <gasps> Over time, guy's... he wrote less and less of the books himself, merely branding them with his name. Horatio Alger! That is incorrect. Oh. So I guess you're out of the running. What do you mean? You just gave your guess before I even asked the question, so... Oh, I'm sorry. All right. I'm going to tell you the names of the follow-ups. Jump in whenever you can name the first book in the series. Well, oh, I'll, let you, I'll give you a chance book. to... Not the name of the guy. Well, it's not him anyway. Um, oh, but well. anyway. All right, I'm, I'm going to give... So I'm going to list them one by one. At any point, you can guess the first book in the series um, of books on the same theme. Jump right in and yell it. The Haunted Man and the Ghost's Bargain. The Battle of Life. The Haunted House. A Message from the Sea. Somebody's Luggage. Mr. Lirapur's Lodgings. Mr. Lirapur's Legacy. Dr. Marigold's Prescriptions. Mugby Junction. Mugby Junction? <laughs> no Thoroughfare. The Chimes. Remember, this is an 1840, is a very popular 1843 novel. These are not necessarily sequels. These are just books on the same theme that he released the same time every year. 1841? 1843 was the original book. 43. No Thoroughfare. The Chimes. The Chimes. The Seven Poor Travelers. Tom Tiddler's Ground. The Holly Tree Inn. The Wreck of the Golden Mary. A House oh. to Let. Oh. You got something? But I can't, no. Well, I mean, that sounded can, familiar. You, I can still guess. I'm still allowed to guess. guess. Oh, okay. The Perils of Certain English Prisoners. A Cricket <laughs> on the Hearth. A Cricket on the Hearth. What Christmas is as we grow older. Huh? A Round of Stories by the Christmas Fire. <laughs> Another Round of Stories by the Christmas Fire. <laughs> a Christmas Tree. A Christmas, uh, Christmas. 
No, it can't oh, be. Oh, Christmas Carol. What? It was a Christmas Carol. Oh. I said it was follow-ups. It's not just follow-ups to the book. It's follow could be follow-ups to questions I asked previously. Dickens yeah. kind of, I like Dickens, but he's kind of a hoe. Yeah, he. Uh, yeah, these are all uh, books that he released every year after that, and uh, supposedly they got worse and worse as time went on, and he just mm -hmm. started hiring writers to write things that were even remotely related to Christmas. Cool. All right. Um, follow-ups. Question number two. This is a follow-up on our, on Peter's favorite category, Stephen King adaptations. <sighs> One of Stephen King's stories was so short that it was originally published in an issue of Penthouse, but was adapted into more movies than Harry Potter. What? So I'm going to give you the subtitles of the movies in the series, and you jump in whenever you know the story they were all expanded from. The Final Sacrifice. What's Urban Harvest. No. Urban Harvest. Oh, Children of the Corn. That is correct. Boo! So I already guessed the wrong one, though, so I don't know if that was fair to him. So did Peter. So did Peter yeah. first time around. So you're not supposed to be able to, but I guess we're doing it this round. What yeah. the heck? Fine. We're both too, like, talky. Yeah. Hmm. It's only 18 right. to 16. That's not terrible or anything. Whatever. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm supposed to be getting three points for these, aren't I? Yeah. You, you don't have to. You don't have to. You don't have to. You can give one. That's cool, too. Well, you got your three points, too. Oh, wait, you didn't. Yeah, I was about to say, no, I didn't. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah. What, what, why who are you, you What are you talking about? Everything's okay. terrible. If it was Russian anyway. poetry, you'd be kicking my ass. Yeah, okay. that's true. Now, the, the following, all the following ones are about lesser-known sequels. So I'm okay. going to give you the name of the lesser-known sequel and then some hints. Jump in whenever you got it. Closing mm -hmm. time was a sequel to what book? Opening Time. That no? is incorrect. Okay. It was published uh, 30 years after the original book. Both books feature Captain John Yasserian. Both books are by Joseph Heller. Oh, Catch-22. Catch-22. I keep forgetting about my bell. Yeah, bell! <laughs> All right. So it's 9 to 18? Uh, yes. Okay, we're back to a nice Something even like 2 to 1 ratio. I'm happy. All right, next up is Starlight Barking. Starlight Barking? Starlight Barking. The original and sequel were both by Dodie Smith. <laughs> Dodie Smith. The original was made into uh, two movies, actually. Uh, oh. They made numerous sequels to... Both movies. Mm -hmm. uh, they didn't for the sequels. They didn't follow this book because this book got weird and added aliens. Benji. What? No, that's not a book. No. Nope. Luke. Uh, it was an animated movie that was later adapted into a live-action movie. Both film versions were made by Disney. Cool. They were about dogs. All dogs go to heaven. All dogs go to heaven. That is not a Disney movie, and I'm disappointed in both of you. <laughs> <laughs> dogs? It was 101 Dalmatians. Son of a... It was followed by a book called Starlight Barking, where aliens... Oh, barking. Where aliens, like, kidnapped all the people, and the dogs ran the world, and it was weird. Estrada, mm. you like Disney, don't you? You secretly like Disney. I did not know that. Okay. You say so. If she. If she. <laughs> okay. If you say so. Okay. Um. All right. This book is called Messenger, and I'm wondering it's a sequel to what? It is the third book in a series. Uh -huh. The second book in the series is called Gathering Blue. Oh, she's the Giver. The no. Giver. Okay. That is correct. Oh, I just <laughs> taught. I just finished teaching the Giver to my my lit kids. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Question number six is Joe's Boys. Oh, Little Women. Duh! That is correct. Jumped right in with that one. And finally, the last question. No. Is The Holy Road. This is uh, a sequel to a novel. Both novels were by Michael Blake. Uh -huh. 
The first was adapted into a movie. That movie was starring Kevin Costner. Uh, Dances with Wolves. Dances with Wolves. What? Oh, really? That I is just, correct. I, just, I didn't know there was a sequel. I just, oh, I just, it was. It's called The Holy Road. Can we have another question? One more. Just one more question. One more question. For fun. For fun. And three points. Or four. Can I get it for six points? Actually, going to be a six How about this? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to tell you what, guys, what? I'm going to let you each ask each other a question. Oh, my God. Didn't I? <sighs> but it's going to be a question really? we know. That, yeah. It, it's going to be a question you know the answer to, but you hope your opponent doesn't. Okay. It's going to be worth three points. How complicated three. can it be? It can be as complicated as you want. Okay. But make it about literature. Keep it on the theme. Yeah, oh, I've got literature. I got literature. Okay. Okay. How about but this? But it's got to be. You got. You want to go first? What was? This is easy. This is easy, Peter. Okay. okay. Is he gonna cheat on this? No cheat. No cheat. No right? cheat. Two, three. Okay. What was the original working title of Pride and Prejudice? Uh, my name's Jane Austen, and uh. That is, that is correct. Like, that's a big question. What? What? Wait, Anything? Mr. No, Mr. It's something. It's something Darcy. It's something Darcy. No. 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 Yes. I don't know. The original working title of Pride and Prejudice. Prejudice Stratton, and you know? Pride. Pride. <laughs> prejudice. Okay. No. No. Pride and Prejudice Done? and Zombies. Pass. <laughs> yeah. Passing. I'm passing. All right. First impressions. First impressions. All right. Okay. You can check. Um, Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, I got one for you. No, this is, I got a, I got a tough one. I, a, okay. Not really a tough one, but like one that you're gonna be frustrated about. I want you to name all. Anyway, so. <laughs> okay, so J D. Salinger has uh, he focuses on the Glass family, right? Like most of his stories about the Glass family. I want you to tell me um, which one of the Glass children dies and how does he die. And not and not English. Seymour, like before, not before, Seymour. yeah, in the, in the backstory of the Glass family, like not in an actual. What? He doesn't die in a story. They just kind of casually mention, "Oh, this dude died." Oh, I had no fucking idea then. No, um, no, no, not gonna happen. Yeah, Seymour uh, committed suicide, right? In, yeah, yeah, in Banana Fish, and Walt yeah. was killed in a freak explosion in Japan when he was occupied part of the occupation forces. Yeah, I might have known this one. Fifteen years ago, I probably knew this. Yeah, uh, yeah. I've so, lost my knowledge. Be careful. Hold on to your Salinger knowledge. Okay, cool. So, um, that didn't. So work. in the end, <laughs> no. We have Peter Starr North up with fifteen points, and Jennifer Howell with eighteen points. That the hurts so much. Is Jennifer Howell? I just want one more question. Just one more. <laughs> That's it, dude. I just want That's one it. more. Just one more. Peter. No. That's all we got. That's all we got. Where's Peter going? What the hell is going on? What the hell is going on? Wait a minute. What the? Wait. Don't go. Hello. Let me in your house. Just one more question. I just want one more question. Just one more. Wait. Do I sit down? <laughs> no, just. I just. Uh, there. It's perfect now. Fifteen. Fifteen. Is she still there? I'm <laughs> still here. Ah. I was in the house the whole time. He's calling from inside the house. <laughs> oh my god, this should have been a horror movie trivia show, Estrada. Should have been uh, a horror movie is that it? show. Uh, that would have been the best ending ever. Come on, I'm Peter Star Northrop. Oh, I can just come here. You just come here. What's up? All right. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Congratulations to our winner, Jennifer Howell. This, uh, Peter Star Northrop, you suck. Get out of here. <laughs> and. Uh, Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks to Anamana Gucci for the uh, song for the opening titles. That's the end of the show. Goodbye.